Hi there, Nick. Hi, Clive. It may have been a bright blue sky start to the day in Scotland this morning, but it was cold. There was a frost in parts of the Highlands, minus 2.4 in Artnahara, the lowest June temperature in the UK since 2012, close to freezing too in the coldest parts of Northern England and Northern Ireland, plus 12 in Southern England. But that temperature didn't change much from the high yesterday, where it was a cold and wet summer solstice. And these figures from the Met Office showing a selection of locations in Southern England yesterday with the high temperature for the summer solstice, 12, 13 degrees. The second column is the temperature for the same places back in December for the winter solstice. And if you're looking closely, you'll notice it was warmer on the winter solstice than it was for the summer solstice yesterday. Upshot is, if your heating's come on, that is why. Our temperatures are at or below average for the time of year at the moment, so we're in the blue here. Now, in the next couple of days, it may feel a little warmer if you get to see some sunshine. There won't be a huge amount before temperatures fall back again late in the week and into the weekend. This is how the weather's going to play out for those big football matches this evening. At Hampden Park, clouding over, may see a bit of rain right at the end of the match. More likely, though, that's going to be holding off until after the match. And at Wembley, it is going to be a dry evening. Hello, good afternoon. A bit more rain around for some of us earlier on this morning. Good weather for ducks or indeed for Canada geese. Just swimming around underneath all of that low grey cloud here in Kingston as captured by our weather watcher. Is it going to warm up anytime soon? Uh, no, flaming June is not on the horizon, Sophie. Actually, today it's been warmer at Hampton Park than it's been at Wembley. That will have no impact, I think, on the football as it plays out. I do know that tonight is not going to be as cold in Scotland as it was last night. Bray Mar with a frost last night. In the sunshine today, the temperature reached into the high teens. But Hello there and a very good evening to you. If you've been a bit bemused with this so-called summer weather, well, you're not alone. Some parts of the southeast had a cooler summer solstice yesterday than we had winter solstice. Now, it's going to get quite cold overnight tonight, but tomorrow we are looking at more sunshine heading our way. And then just a heads up for Thursday, looking mostly dry, but it is going to turn cloudier as we go through the day. So we've got low to moderate levels of grass and weed pollen around at the moment, picking up perhaps with the finer weather. And if we get some rain on Friday, it might go down again. That's it. Have a lovely evening. Cheerio. And it's over to Elizabeth. It's certainly drier, at least. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it is now, Riz, isn't it? Um, as promised, an improvement on what we saw yesterday, but still no great shakes weather-wise. Things will turn a little nicer again tomorrow. We started off with some rain this morning. Plenty of low grey cloud, of course. We still had that chilly northeasterly wind blowing. It's now starting to ease down. And there were a few glimmers of brightness, as captured by one of our weather watchers here on the South Bank earlier on. But the sunshine is really very limited indeed but tomorrow is looking quite sunny it'll be dry and it'll be feeling a bit warmer too temperatures today got in the mid to the high teens for most of us a little bit of sunshine helped to lift those values a bit and if you're watching the football tonight i take it you're not going if you're watching us at the moment uh, but the weather shouldn't give them any problems there cloudy northeasterly wind and temperatures again in the high teens now Hello, a very good evening to you. It is going to be cloudier across the northwest over the next couple of days with some outbreaks of patchy rain and drizzle, drier further southeast. And here's where we'll see the best of the sunshine tomorrow afternoon.